Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, give you guys a quick rundown as to uh, how I actually record all of my gameplay. Um, today we're going to be using OBS Studio just because that's the program that I use and it's kind of best suited for all my needs with different, different things with SRS and you know how the output all works like that. And we're going to be going over why I choose the setup that I do. So there's a few different ways that you can go about recording. In OBS basically records either the window itself of a program or it can record desktop or whatever else. But we actually are going to record the DCS window itself. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to do the, all the tips and tricks right now. I'm going to get that in a little bit, but I'll kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. So the first thing that you're going to have is you're going to have the, if you're like me and you're using the Windows Mixed Reality headsets, you're going to have the Mixed Reality portal that you can record off of. That is really not a good idea. So let's see if it's going to strobe us. It's going to strobe us a little bit. Go ahead and pause that until it loads in. Let it load in. Any minute now. There you go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start the flight. I'm going to put this thing on autopilot. Autopilot? Okay, it's on autopilot. Close enough. So the first thing you've got is this. So even in 4K, this is recorded on a 4K monitor, but you know it's the the first issue you're going to have is that this is not exactly all that great. You can blow it up, and it gets even worse. Plus, you know now you can't see some of the vital components, you know, of the of the cockpit and everything else, just centered to this really narrow area right here. So then what you can do is you have another option. I'm going to go ahead and pause that, throw it away is you can open up Steam VR and do their portal, but it's almost kind of the same thing. You can either, I'm not sure if they have like different settings that you can use, but they, they kind of suffer the same issue. It's not the best and the resolutions that you get or the, uh, the aspect ratios aren't that great either. I mean, that's, that's decent, but even the frame rate, for some reason, the, FPS, uh, the, uh, what is this called, the, the Steam Mirror doesn't have great frame rates. So we'll close out of that. Now we'll go to actual, bring you guys into the OBS stream, or video, I don't stream. You can actually see a little bit of difference. So this is only in the 1080 right now, um, or not 1080, this is not in the full resolution that I normally record at, but you can actually kind of tell right now just from the earlier examples I was showing you that this is a little bit better. Go ahead and bring in some of the uh, their FPS droppers, and right now I'm getting 45 frames, but this is on, you know, this is single player, this is, uh, you know, just me, there's no AI or anything. But this is actually pretty good, you know, provided I don't, you know, I'm not wearing the headset right now, I'm just watching the mirror with you guys. But this is actually really good. So, go ahead and actually quit out of this. Quit to the desktop. And show you guys some of the issues. Oh, okay. So the main problem you'll find with DCS with recording the window is that it's confined to this area right here. Now, that's great, but the actual recording... Oh, shit, I probably should have kept that up. Oh, well. The resolution that it's recording in is not great so especially if you're on a 1080p monitor it comes out to some crazy resolution that's less than high def is the best way to put it and you kind of get that with 4k but at least you know with 4k you can actually downscale it into 1080p but you know even then it's still not all that great so the best way i've actually found to do this is so dcs will always launch in a vertical mode it will never you know so it's limited to that aspect ratio of whatever the hell that is First thing you can do, which I don't recommend really, is just put the taskbar over here. So before, when it was stopping right there, it's actually going to load just a little bit further and give you those extra like 30 pixels right there. Not a really great step. Uh, I did that at first, but it doesn't really work. But what you can also do, see if this command works now. Oh, it didn't work, whatever is you can actually rotate your display. And we're gonna go ahead and put that back up because I don't know why it's doing that to the other screen. 
we're going to go ahead and rotate our main monitor here in a portrait. Go ahead and keep the changes and I'll continue to zoom this as I go. So now when DCS loads, it's going to be in the same aspect ratio, but it's not going to be the vertical resolution that's going to stop. It's going to be the horizontal one. And it's going to be a much bigger resolution. So we can go ahead and open up DCS, let it do its thing, close out of that. And we'll give it a minute for it to do its thing. The only thing is this does take up, you know, so as far as OBS goes, um, it does take a, a bigger hit on your uh, CPU. And uh, this will take, you know, I, overall it's going to take bigger stress on your, your graphics and your, your processor. I'm running this on just a standard 1080 and, you know, on a Samsung Odyssey. So, you know, it's not, it's decent resolution, but you can already see now that the resolution, let's go ahead and tap out really quick, but not to something. Let's go here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So no, give me my damn mouse. Okay. So you can see how much more resolution there is. Now we can actually go into OBS and just so you guys know, I am looking at my monitor almost sideways. I've gotten pretty used to it by now, but so we can go ahead and resize this. And now it is set. It is set to this resolution. Whatever this window is, just because it's looking at DCS itself, it's looking at that resolution. So let's go ahead and find out what that resolution is. Twenty-one sixty by twenty-six ninety-two. That's awesome. So we're gonna cancel out of that. Let's go load up the Hornet again into instant action. Free flight. Did I start recording? Probably not. Not yet. Good enough. All right. So now that it's loaded and start recording. So this should double check it. Yep. All right. So it's recording. So this, I like my pilot and I like my mirrors. This is a little bit more crisp. In, in the fact that you also have, you know, in the way that I record with, which is just the standard resolution that DCS provides in the uh, 20, the crazy, you know, aspect ratio, even though there's a lot of screen up here that I'm not utilizing, that, you know, it's just open space, is that if I do, for some whatever reason, need to record up there, or I can crop it down into just the cockpit area, I can do whatever I like. So... If I need to zoom in, if I need to zoom out, if I just want to crop it down, the only issue you will run into is the aspect ratios, but that's something we can get into later. But as you can kind of tell right now, this is pretty awesome. I'm locked at the frame rate for the headset, which is 45 frames a second. Let's see, let's see if I can bring up something really quick. Let's go ahead. Let's see, FPS VR. Let's go ahead and see what how you're doing. Hello, where are you? Unless you don't load anymore, that's depressing. Ah, look at NZXT cam. So right now, yeah, CPU is at 35%. I can't get to my damn monitor, but you know the graph. Everything's running pretty good right now boy over here actually so yeah 90 percent on dcs 30 percent of the cpu so it's it's doing pretty good oh shit get out of there i have no idea what that noise is it's probably fucking steam get rid of you get rid of you go away that's fucking weird. Anyways, so that's basically just how I go about recording. So go into a little bit more here in a second with some sample footage and just, you know, yeah, screw it. We'll just keep going with this one. So there's a few different ways that you can. Why are you like this? Is it just Steam VR just doing something? Oh, I know what's going on. 
God damn it. All right. Anyway, so basically what you can do is you can... I'm going to just narrate this as I go, but you can zoom in into the cockpit. You can also, you know, you can set up some of the aspect ratios. If you want to have a wider view of the cockpit or a wider view overall, you can set... Um, some lower aspect ratios rather than the standard 16 by 9. I'm not really a fan of the 16 by 9 just because of how narrow the view is. I'd rather go for probably, I don't know, something along the lines of 4 by 3 or 5 by 4. Not trying to be snobby, but you know, just those aspect ratios tend to give you a bigger view of the cockpit and, you know, general awareness of what's going on. But you can still zoom them in even further, especially on a 4K monitor is you know if you have a flight you know another aircraft in front of you that you're trying to track and you want to show to your viewers you can zoom in and show them that just as easily so yep and we're just going to go ahead and get into some actual footage that i've gotten in multiplayer you know you're, you're going to notice some frame drops probably down to the 30s but overall pretty great Thank <laughs> you. 